So for everyone that's been following my work uh, through my book, The Market Gardener and the Masterclass, the online course that I teach, uh, a lot of my uh, work revolves around using the BCS Walk Behind Tractor in the context of market gardening. It's like come summertime, there's all sorts of different tools that are really, really cool with the BCS. Uh, we did a lot of videos. You can check the channel for, for other, other videos about the BCS. But today we're in the, you know, we're in dead winter and we're exploring the snowblower. The snowblower is a tool that I've had for 20 years. I've been using it extensively for many years. This one is new. So BCS for this project here, we're at the old mill. Uh, they gave us a new uh, snowblower and I'm really a big fan. I'm, I'm really a big fan of the BCS, but I'm a really big fan of the snowblower per se because it's powerful, it doesn't clog up. And the main thing about this and the other tools that connect with the BCS is that it's just one engine to maintain. And it's a Honda engine, these are the best out there. And you don't need to maintain different engines for different tools in your garage all the time. Uh, this is true for the generator, this is true for a wood chipper, this is true for a snowblower. And the other reason why I really like it and I use it a lot, it's because it's, it, you can maneuver it really in tight spaces. And that's really one of the highlight of this compared to perhaps a snow blower that you'd have on a tractor. Even on a small compact tractor, it's pretty rare to have something under four or six feet as a snow blower. This one is 24 inch wide. It's really powerful. I'll show you some of the mechanism. The chute is made out of stainless steel. It's not made out of plastic, which makes a big difference. It won't tend to uh, ice as much. Okay, so it, 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 it's really nice in that way. You can, you can quickly and easily adjust the direction of the chute. You can adjust the angle of the chute so that it goes further or closer. And then you also have, if you come closer in here, you also have this wooden stick that is really handy when it starts to perhaps jam up or pack up and you want to loosen it or you want to loosen the chute, you have the stick that comes and it's right here. So all in all, not complicated. The way we have it set it up here, it's connected to the quick attach coupler. So I can easily connect it, disconnect it. I can put the generator in the winter. I could put something else, um, but that's great about it. And besides that, let's just fire it up and, and do a tour. I need, to, I need to use it on the greenhouse here at the old mill. So the first thing is I'll adjust the handlebars to my height. You do this with this lever here, you can adjust it. So now this is good. I really like the electric start because it saves you all the cranking process and then you just fire it up. I'm gonna leave the choke for a few seconds so that the engine warms up. Then the engine is good, it's on idle. We're putting it on reverse, so the handlebars on the BCS, uh, you can swivel them so that you can operate with a front tool or a back tool. So now we have a front tool, so we're reversing the handlebars. Here you'll have your speed. And then this is the PTO engagement stick. So once I'm ready, I'm gonna put it in gear and then the, the plow is gonna start. So as you see, this is pretty heavy duty. A lot of the snow accumulates on the sides of the greenhouse 
and so there's a lot of snow there's about three feet of snow here as you see that you know the the snow the snow thrower grows through it even though there's a lot of snow so it's pretty heavy duty and and that's that's where we need to use it because otherwise if i do don't do it it's just going to add up and add up and then it becomes a problem it's like i can't open my roll up anymore so in our climate a snow thrower is important and you know this one is it's heavy duty man just don't know what else to say about it it's pretty it's pretty rugged So that's it for this week's episode. Hope you were enjoying it. Remember folks, as a tool advisor for different companies, my role is not to sell you equipment, but rather show you how they work, what it is. Some of you have perhaps never seen uh, um, a snowblower like this uh, for the BCS. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It gives us the signal that you guys are into this, that we should keep doing it. It gives us love and we all need it. I hope you guys are well. I hope things are growing. I am well. And uh, farm on, friends. JM out. <laughs>